Louisiana Beer Reviews Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA, Imperial IPA Revisited. This is a special edition video. Uh, <clears throat> this Imperial IPA got a, 12, a six pack for twelve fifty six at a local store here. Uh, our continuous, continually hopped Imperial IPA whose powerful malt backbone stands up to an extreme hopping rate for a pungent, not crushing hop flavor, 9% alcohol. Now down below, and I'll have the link, we can look up the malts and the hops. Gets very good scores on Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, and Untapped. This is best by February of 2023. And I think it's D, Delaware, 234, 2 to 234th day of 20. 22. I, I could be reading that wrong, but that looks like that's what it is. This might, it does come in cans. I saw the 20, no, the 19.2 ounce can at uh, <clears throat> Circle K, but it was too expensive for 19.2 ounces. This was a much nicer deal. Two dollars and nine cents. Nine times six fifty-four, so two dollars and nine cents. A bottle, not bad, not bad. Might have been cheaper at Walmart. I saw it this morning at Walmart, but I can't remember the price. I, I just bought a six pack, so I'm gonna buy another. There's a brilliant translucent orange. Even semi-transparent, I can see out the window through it a little bit. Bone colored head. It's very malty. It's like very strong, intense white bread crust. Yeah, it's just saying Milton, Delaware. Milton, Delaware. It's not saying any other, any of the Boston Beer Company breweries. So it's. This batch, at least, this bottle is from Delaware only. That's why it's got the D. Some of them will say Pennsylvania and other other locations. Oh, Cincinnati, Ohio, I think. Yeah, taste. Yes, the IBUs are high. It's got a lot of bitterness, but it doesn't come across as particularly bitter because it's got so much bready malt that you got this intense sweetness, four out of five sugar cubes. Then you got four and a half out of five hop cones. It's just mostly balanced, you know, a little bit more hoppy than malty. And it's just bold on both sides of it, the sweet and the bitter. Body's high, medium, not quite thick, a little chewy in the mouth feel. It's a mostly dry finish. If you got this on your fingers, it would be sticky from the hop resins. It would be a sticky beer. Is this a great India Pale Ale? It is a great India Pale Ale. It's not like all hazy and like opaque looking like a coagulated cereal powder at the bottom of the cereal bowl you know you take your finger and you get lupulin powder on your pinky it's not some off-putting dreary depressing fruit bomb you know what i'm saying it's to me the way India pale ale is supposed to be. Other people will say, oh no, you're wrong. I, I want everything to be juicy and fruity. I mean, obviously people should drink whatever they prefer. I mean, this has some juicy notes to it. Like a 
almost like marmalade. Um, but it's a bread, bread oriented thing, you know, it's just so different than those other ones that I'm complaining about. And I don't feel bad complaining about them because they just, is that a personal preference issue? It is. I think a lot of that is quality too though. A lot, a lot of them just seem to be poor quality, just slung together. Anyway, that, that thing's kind of dying. It is dying. But the classic IPA, in this case an Imperial, with the clarity, the beautiful clarity, the cleanness, you know, relative cleanness. I notice he's making a strong comeback now. We just need to see the torpedo come roaring back over here. I found some torpedo. Torpedo at an uh, international market. Bunch of bottles. They were all bottled in 2021. And I just push them right back on the shelf. Especially with IPAs, you want to. Well, that's one of the classes of beer or styles of beer you want to check the date. So, this is a good date. So, score. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Two dollars nine cents a bottle, but regardless of the price. But I mean, it is a great price. Got to keep mentioning it, that this day and age. But uh, but I mean, I saw I can get craft beers cheaper. I saw the Samuel Adams new flavor pack for winter, sixteen forty nine for a twelve pack. They're dark lager, winter lager, old Fezziwig, of course you got the same as Boston lager, and their cold IPA. I think a, I think there's six, two of two, two of six flavors. But uh, I mean that's a great deal on craft beer, so you can still get the deals with the flavor. All right, I'm gonna go with 96, 9.6 out of 10. A most excellent ale, a wonderful ale, a fabulous ale. 96 out of 100, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Milton, Delaware. I'd like to do that. And tour the Dogfish Head Brewery. And they've been around since 1995 is when they really started producing. 94, they were off. They were kind of getting started. So anyway, a long time now. Thank you.